What's going on everybody? Welcome to a Hashtag Movers Monday. We're going to be talking about the cards that have been released today. Um, as of, uh, I don't know what time they actually released the cards, but it's, re it's released today as of a Hashtag uh, Movers Monday. Demario Davis has been sent from the Jets to the Browns. Um, he's a bum though, right? I think he's a bum. I don't think he made any noise though, but didn't they have like a positional hero of him last year or something? Damn. He done, he done declined. Oh, what? yeah, it was last year. I think they had a Demario Davis like he had some pretty sick stats. He just became a bum overnight, though? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. 90 speed, 85 awareness, which doesn't matter. You're going to still stand there like nothing's happening. 82 block shed. I'm done with him. I can't do nothing with him, bro. A 82 block shed, though? You trying to get pancaked on inside zone, though? When a dude comes out and trips to the left, though? And then I put you over there and you get pancaked, though? Nah, we're not, we're not going to deal with this. Congratulations, though. He got 4.1 million guaranteed. As we know, we're in a recession right now, so congratulations to him and his family. Hopefully everything works out well with him, and he continues to get better, because according to this card, you done declined. You had a positional hero last year, and now you're just a straight-up bum burger business, though? We'll see what happens this year, though. He's going to the Browns, who also has RG3. I just think the Browns are trying to figure out what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because I don't know what the hell is happening there. Um, I do wish the best for RG3, though. I'm glad he got another chance. I do not think that he's going to remain in Cleveland, though. So don't don't get it twisted. I just I'm just happy to see him get another chance because a lot of QBs don't get another chance, and I'm just happy to see somebody take a chance on him. Um, and I hope everything works out well for him there, and he doesn't. He's learned from what he did uh, with the Redskins to help him be a better man and teammate. 95 excels not bad though, but it doesn't matter because they all run the same speed, and then they always get you know if he catches a pick, he's gonna get caught by the goddamn center. So it doesn't really matter. But I don't like his block shedding. I do not like that. Um, the next move, 87, the 82 block shot is way too low. I can't use that because dudes come out running inside the zone like maniacal animals, dog. And I can't really, you know, deal with that. So uh, we're not going to do that. Power moves, 85, nah. All right, this, this is pretty much an ah, bro, it's an ah card. It's nothing that I would really, you know, want to put on the team. If you do have a budget squad, though, it's not too shabby to add uh, some high, high overall. If you're the kind of guy that cares about overall and doesn't look at particular stats like I do, um, I would grab him for cheap if he's available for cheap. But, um... I don't see any other reason to get him, honestly, at 91 overall. There's so many other middle linebackers. Even the, even like the, the basic Shazier is probably better than this card. I wouldn't really jump to it, but yeah, it is hashtag, uh, what, did I say hashtag? Hashtag Movers Monday, and um, he's another card that's been moved. Congratulations on his move from, uh, you know, to the Browns from the Jets, and I hope that he continues to play well. That's all you can really do, man. It's a tough league. A lot of guys are retiring because they're scared to get concussions. So all I can do is hope for the best for this gentleman. As the new cards come out, I'll give you a quick review. Definitely hit that subscribe button and let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, it's always one love.